There's some evidence that the Exodus story in the Bible is historically accurate. All right, let's see it. There's an ancient Egyptian document known as the Admonitions of Ipuwer. This document describes a time of distress in Egypt and it lists multiple plagues that the book of Exodus describes. So this document is describing a time of distress that is a period of social upheaval and the overturning of the social order, which results in the invasion of Asiatics, which is the opposite of what the book of Exodus describes. And one would have to squint pretty hard at this to identify any of the symptoms of social upheaval with the plagues mentioned in the book of Exodus. These symptoms are pretty stock features of this kind of ancient Egyptian wisdom literature and is also found in pieces of literature from other societies as well. There are no actual Egyptologists who publish in the field of Egyptology who think this has anything whatsoever to do with the book of Exodus. The document states that plague stalks through the land and blood is everywhere. The river is blood. Gates, columns, and walls are consumed with fire. Men are few. He who lays his brother in the ground is everywhere. The son of the highborn is no longer to be recognized. The stranger people from outside are come into Egypt. Corn has perished everywhere. So this is pretty stock literary imagery regarding periods of social upheaval and turmoil where we have death, we have famine, we have the overturning of the social order so that the elite are no longer in positions of privilege. The only thing that has anything approximating a plausible case for some kind of connection with the book of Exodus would be the river turning to blood. But this is imagery that we also find in other texts. It can refer to inundations, uh, the flooding of the Nile where red colored silt is washed downstream and turns the water red. It can refer to the fact that the river is filling up with dead bodies. This is something that is explicitly mentioned elsewhere in this text. Uh, it can just be a symbol of just widespread death and destruction as we see in texts from elsewhere in Egypt and in other societies. So one would have to squint pretty hard at these things again so that the details got very, very blurry and the fuzzy edges started running together in order to draw connections between these things and the book of Exodus. And the only reason to do that is if you want to find those connections. So again, as with so much in apologetics, this is not allowing the data to operate on their own terms. It's certainly not following the data where they lead. It is treating the data as an obstacle that must be navigated and sidestepped and overcome in order to arrive at the desired conclusion, and that is fallacious and problematic. The description of the river turning into blood, fire consuming the city, and the mass casualties of men and the son of the highborn are strikingly similar to the plagues in Exodus. So this is a pretty good example of how much you have to squint at these details to distort them. Uh, the fact that there is fire in the city is not an indication that fire has fallen from heaven. Fires happened anciently for lots of different reasons. Additionally, there's nothing about the son of the highborn dying. It states that the son of the highborn is no longer recognized. In other words, their elite status doesn't mean anything anymore. These details are being totally distorted. The only surviving copy of this letter has been dated to the latter half of the second millennia BC, which is around the time that the Exodus occurred. So there are fragments of this story that survive in other copies, but this creator and anyone who would deploy this text apologetically have rather blithely overlooked the difference between our earliest surviving copy and the original composition of this text. The scholarly consensus is that this text was written sometime between the 1900s and the 1600s BCE, so centuries before the traditional dating of the Exodus. If you want to learn more evidence for the Exodus, I'd highly recommend watching the documentary Patterns of Evidence Exodus on Amazon. Or if you didn't want to be misled, you could just go listen to actual experts. This paper, for instance, is freely available online.